one again. Hey, I found another great book. It's for the little ones. It's called Alpacas with Maracas and it's by Nat Cosgrave. It's published by Koala Books. Thanks, Koala Books. This guy is called Maka. He's an alpaca. Do you know what? I think this might be a rhyming book. He likes eating pickles and loves getting tickles. Pickles and tickles, they rhyme. That guy is called Al. He's Macca's best pal. He's an alpaca too, with a shaggy hairdo. Al has a big heart. Oh, can you have a big heart? Does that mean it's really big? I remember. Having a big heart also means you're very kind. But isn't that smart? buddies are tight. That means they're really good friends from morning till night. Always looking for ways to brighten their days. A talent show. Let's give it a go. Al said with a grin, I bet we could win. Maka beamed back. All we need is an act. So, most earnest and gallant, they searched for their talent. They tried strumming and crashing and drumming and thrashing, but the sound from the boys was a horrible noise. I'm wondering what they might find that they're really good at. They tried dancing and prancing and blowing and throwing, but the cloudy, cuddly duo were utterly so-so. Their magic was tragic, their choir was dire, their tumbling was bumbling, and their falling appalling. It's hopeless, Al hissed, and then he shook his fist. Maka started, stared at his pal. You're a genius, Al. We can't sing or play, brother, but we can shape like no other. We don't need big fracas, we just need maracas. On talent show day, they began to sashay. They, they shimmied, they grooved, they wiggled and moved. Chicka 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 cha cha, chicka chicka ta ta ta. I think they might be enjoying themselves. Well, the crowd all went crackers for the alpacas with maracas. Here they are having such a lovely time. The pair had a blast, even though they came last. Looks like they had so much fun though, didn't they? Then they shook to the max with the yaks playing sax. That was a really good rhyming book. Some of you might remember me reading it during story time at school. Until next time, Kaikite.